In today's lab, you witnessed a combustion reaction. Combustion is burning. And we're going to do complete combustion as our equation today as opposed to incomplete. Even though there may have been some incomplete, we'll just go with the complete. And you know that this was a solution of ethanol. Okay, it was dissolved in water. It was not pure ethanol. It was not a liquid. It was AQ. Uh, you combine that by burning it, it combined with oxygen from the air, so you know the state of matter there. And you know that for complete combustion, you're going to make two products, carbon dioxide and water. And you know that carbon dioxide is going right into the air, and the water also went right into the air. And you should be able to understand that there was a lot of heat being released. So of course this is a very exothermic reaction. So what you burned was called ethanol. Ethanol is an alcohol, it's a type of alcohol. You have uh, probably rubbing alcohol at home, which is isopropyl alcohol. I'll write that over here. Isopropyl alcohol, rubbing alcohol at home. Okay, propyl means it has three carbons. F means it has two carbons. So you can see that this has two carbons in the formula, C2H5OH. I'm going to give you a little warning that when you balance this equation, a common mistake people forget is when they're doing O's that there is an O right there. So you have to make sure you count that O. So of course you're going to do your C's first, then do your H's, and don't forget you have H's there and there. Okay, so all those H's have to match up with this H. The C's match up here, and then do the O's at the end. All right, so your last coefficient is going to be this O, and don't forget again that you already have an O right there. You should be able to write down all your observations. This was a pretty uh, exciting one, especially if you followed my suggestion here of just for fun. And if you added different salts into the ethanol, you should have had different colors coming up. <clears throat> so you could have had either a violet, you could have had a bluish green, you could have had a red. This was another red, and this was like a yellowy orange. So any of those colors would have come out in your flames and this is also going to set the stage for another lab we could do coming up where you're going to have different colored salts in a fire and you're going to use that to identify mystery salts that could be in that salt mystery metals I should say that are in that salt and this could come in handy for your chem mysteries as you analyze those in the near future